for the city of Patterson and your moderator for this afternoon. The purpose of this forum is to formally present the second ward candidates in the upcoming special municipal election, which will be held at the general election on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. This will enable you, the viewers, or the voters, to hear their platform and or views in which they are seeking to be elected to fill the office of the second ward council. There are five second ward candidates, but you will vote only for one candidate. The candidates are listed on the general election ballot on the I line on the your, uh, municipal, I mean, I'm sorry, general election ballot at the bottom of your ballot, you'll see the names of the candidates for the second ward. They're on the I line and are presented to you today in alphabetical order, namely, one, Mr. Mohammed Akhtaruzaman. He's unable to make it today, he's not feeling well. Ms. Sonia Endelis. Mr. Frank G. Filippelli, Mr. Eddie Gonzalez, and Mr. Shaheen Kalik. Please use this forum to familiarize yourself with the candidate as well as to listen to their views. As moderator, I will strictly enforce the time allotted to each candidate, maintain the quorum of discipline, and will intervene in the event of any deviations from the spirit and purpose of the forum. I must ask that candidates show respect and courtesy to each other. Each candidate will have five minutes to present his or her opening statement in alphabetical order. Two, each candidate is permitted to ask the other candidate, candidates three questions in one round. The responsive candidates will have two minutes to respond. There will be absolutely no rebuttal by any candidate, whether you are the one asking or responding to a question. Candidates will have five minutes to wrap up or give his or her closing remarks. I'm joined today by my deputy clerk, Ms. Jacqueline Murray, who will be monitoring the time Thank you, and we will now begin the forum. Our first candidate for opening remarks would be Mr. Actor Ruzeman. Unfortunately, he's not here today. So we'll begin with Ms. Sonia N. Delis, and she'll present her five minutes opening remarks. Ms. Delis, you may begin. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, City Clerk and Deputy You're City Clerk. Your mic. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, That's bad. sorry about that. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you to the city clerk and the deputy city clerk for putting this meeting together, as well as all the viewers. Um, my name is Sonia Deleese. For those that don't know me, um, I was born and raised in Patterson, and I am running for the Patterson Second Ward City Council seat. I am happily married. I have four children and six grandchildren. I graduated from Passaic County Tech, and I have a college degree in humanities. I work for a sales and marketing company as a business intelligence manager for 16 years now. I have the privilege of working from home, which will give me the flexibility of working with my community. I am a certified real estate salesperson as well as income tax preparer. On Tuesday, November 3rd, vote 2I to bring public safety to our neighborhood. I will put in place a crime fighting technology to combat gangs and street violence. I want to work with the city, the states, and the federal officials to get guns off the st streets throughout the ceasefire program. On Tuesday, November 3rd, vote to bring recreation to our schools. I want to work with the after school programs and support turning the Hinch Life Stadium into a sports academy, promote youth building community block grants in order to provide our youth with an apprehensive program and give them a head start. On Tuesday, November 3rd, vote to bring economic development. I want to work to promote the city's second ward master plan to revitalize our neighborhood commercial corridor. 
with emphases of the Great Falls National Park Historic District together with the Union Ave, Totowa Ave, and McBride Avenue Commercial Corridor. Finally, I will commit myself and work tirelessly to find alternatives to the property tax as a dominant source of revenue, particularly in the light of this pandemic. Once again, my name is Sonia Deliz and I am 2i on the ballot. Thank you, Mr. Deliz. We now have the opening remarks by Mr. Frank G. Filippelli. Mr. Filippelli, you may begin. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You. My name is uh, Frank G. Filippelli. I was born, raised, and live in the city of Patterson in the second ward. I'm a blue collar carpenter in my own business, small business. Um, what I want to bring to our community is I've lived here my whole life and I see the problems that plague Patterson as well as the second ward. I would like to see um, police presence in our second ward. We are one of the highest uh, tax brackets in the, in the city and we don't get the services we deserve. It is time for the city to start respecting the residents as well as the taxpayers. We pay the highest taxes in the city, some of the highest taxes, and uh, we don't get the services we deserve. Uh, I was born and raised there, like I said before, a graduate of school number 27s, a graduate of Kennedy High School. I raised both of my children in the second ward, both graduates of school 27s. Our family roots are deep in the Hillcrest section, and I know what plagues us from the development of the Totowa Borough pushing on the Hillcrest section to out-of-town police bordering in uh, enforcing laws that our police department should be enforcing. Uh, the city of Patterson and the residents of the second ward should be tired of getting kicked around, and they only really respect us around election time. As a blue-collar guy, I understand the issues that face our city. I'm not a politician. I'm not connected to any politicians at all. I'm a community leader. I have dedicated my entire adult life to volunteering for the city of Patterson, for the youth of Patterson. So with that being said, hopefully um, with this mail-in ballot, again, it was very hard to campaign during the COVID. Uh, this is a special election only because the May election was deboggled and we shouldn't even be here right now. But because of the COVID, it was in, tough to campaign, tough to raise money. Uh, as a community leader, I didn't want to bang on people's doors. I didn't want to ask people for money because let's face it, a lot of us were out of work for six or seven months without pay. How can I ask someone to help donate towards a cause? So the best I could do is please ask a friend, tell a friend, we need Frank Filippelli at City Hall, a true community leader that's willing to fight for the BS that goes on in the city, the broken systems. There's so many broken systems in our city. And um, some of the things I'll touch base on my closing remarks on uh, beautifying Westside Park uh, with a uh, state-of-the-art river walk that I have uh, envisioned, as well as, um, again, policing. When you're paying $10,000, $1,000, $1,200 a month in taxes, and you call for a police because of a blocked driveway, and they tell you it's not a priority, that's an issue. That's a problem. You don't want to pay for services and not get anything in return. And that happens clear across the board for the whole city of Patterson. So please, if you need a real fighter in the city, think of me, vote 3I, Frank G. Filippelli, to educate, motivate, and elevate. The other thing I want to say is, I'm not just one vote on the city council. I am representing 15,000 registered voters in the second ward. So if I can't get something done at this city council because the, the council people don't want to help me out, then I got to put up, lace up my shoes, go back into the, the streets and get the people behind me because this is about the people and I want to motivate the people to elevate our city. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Filippelli. 
We'll now move on to our next um, second award candidate, Mr. Eddie Gonzalez. You may begin. Thank you. Thank you, City Clerk. First, I do want to start off by thanking the City Clerk, your staff, for putting this event together. It's important that the people of Patterson, specifically the Second Ward residents, get to hear the platform of the candidates um, that is going to represent the, city, the city's uh, Second Ward. That being said, my name is Eddie Gonzalez, for those who don't know me. I am also a Pattersonian, lifelong resident, born and raised in the city of Patterson, lived in the Second Ward most of my adult life. I am a family man, wife, two kids daughter and a son. Um, I went through the Patterson School District. I have many accomplishments that we will get through, hopefully, throughout this debate. You'll get, I'll get to share some of the accomplishments that I've done here in the city of Patterson. I work here in the city of Patterson. I live here in the city of Patterson. My wife is also a teacher for 15 years, teaching kids here in the city of Patterson. Um, I am the assistant to the CEO of the organization that I work for, NJCDC, as well as director of community outreach. And I mention that because I am engaged with the community every single day for the past 12 years. And it is my job to know what's going on in the second ward. It is my job to work with the community. That being said, I was also elected in 2010 as a commissioner on the Patterson uh, Board of Education, serving over 30,000 students, uh, overseeing uh, 52 schools at the time. I have also was appointed by the previous mayor as uh, a commissioner on the planning board, Patterson's planning board. I served as a vice chairman, um, and on that committee, I saw many projects that came to the city so that uh, we can uh, review them and see if they're uh, in the best interest of the city of Patterson as it relates to real estate and redevelopment of our area. I am also a seven-year past board member of the Patterson Education Fund. That organization is a prestigious organization in the city of Patterson and mainly North Jersey advocating for students and bringing in funding from um, the state advocating for funding for the children of Patterson. I am the advisor, uh, a senior advisor to the Patterson Youth Council where I actually mentored over 300 children, high school, individual students um, over the past 12 years. Um, and I love doing that because it keeps my feet to the ground, my ears to the ground, working with the children of Patterson and making sure that they have uh, scholarships to go on to, high, uh, to college and that we help them through their obstacles each and every day. My platform is to increase policing. In our neighborhood, we need to increase our patrols. We need to increase the safety um, measures that um, police departments right now are um, hindered with the lack of resources to address the city's needs and therefore, uh, unfortunately, the second ward doesn't get the attention that it deserves and I'm here to fight on, the, on behalf of the city's second ward residents to make sure that we get our representation in the second ward. I do work well with the Patterson Police Department, with individuals from the Patterson Police Department. I was recently endorsed by the National uh, Constables and uh, Marshal Association, and I am working closely with many other agencies, um, individually with individuals, uh, to help me in putting specific plans and, 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 and processes that can help the city of Patterson in general, but specifically the second ward. In addition to that, I've always advocated for parks and recreation. I've sponsored many youth leagues, um, soccer, as well as baseball and some other sports. Um, it's a passion of mine under my civic association. We have sponsored many of these groups and, and tournaments. Um, I am proud to say that I led 12 playground builds in the city of Patterson, mo mostly in the second ward. If your child goes to a school in the second ward and they have a playground, 99% of the chance is that we built that playground. So working with the community to actually take back the community, take ownership of the community is what I'm all about. It's not just you know simply telling you that I have a platform, but my platform is showing you that I've already done the work, I have proven experience, I continue to do so. And there's so many ideas and things that I have uh, to lay out. I don't think we'll be able to have that time today to issue all the to issue all the, uh, um, to address all the issues in the city of Patterson's second ward, but I do come with a lot of experience from my employer in which we do everything with schools, education, real estate, development, parks, recreation, 
Um, so with that said, I really want to take this opportunity to demonstrate to you that I've already done the work as a previous commissioner on the Board of Education advocating for the city's children, for the families, um, under my current role as Director of Community Outreach, working with the community directly in addressing the personal family concerns that they have, many mental health issues and things of that nature, as well as uh, family support, um, employment, immigration documents, and things of that nature that we have to address, um, helping people uh, find homes to live in, working with uh, different agencies throughout the city to address the homeless population, uh, the mentally ill, and those who are the most vulnerable in the city of Patterson. Um, and we have many projects, our own projects in the city of Patterson that I will go into a little later. My time is up, thank you. Vote for aye. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. We'll now begin with Mr. Shaheen Khalid. who may. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You're welcome. Sir. Um, I would like to thank uh, Council President for allowing the Madam Clerk to host this uh, forum. I am Shaheen Khalid your second ward councilman, because a former, actually last election, what happened is the election became a tie after recount after recount. Everybody knows the story, I'm not gonna get there. Um, dear second ward residents, in last couple of years, your hard earned dollars and livelihood of your family has been under attack by this administration that has consistently raised our taxes our sewer bills, so that he could give raises to his political allies and the employees, which I have fought and consistently voted against the tax increases and the sewer bill increases. That's one of the reasons I have been the mayor had been attacking me personally, working against me to not be um, elected. My record speaks for itself. Since I've been a councilman, I've been elected in 2016. I consist consistently voted against the tax increase or any other fees that this administration brought to the council, so which will bring a hardship to the residents of Patterson. I voted against those uh, resolution. I am here to serve the community. I have no special interest or anything um, so that I'm running for the council. Personally, I have created a non-profit organization New Jersey Health Center, which I fund by myself, my own money to serve the community. Through that, I have assisted many residents of Patterson. I would like to thank our interim councilman, Mr. Gilman Chowdhury, for helping me with the health center since 2014. Through the health center, we had hosted many medical fair, given eyeglasses, hearing aid, and so forth, so that resident of the uh, resident of the second ward could be benefited. I held last four years, last couple of years, basically, I held the administration accountable for their their um, lack of services. If you have been uh, watching the council meeting, consistently I fought against those lack of services. We have, I fought for the second word as well. PCNG had, did a road resurfacing project in the second word. Many of the road, half of the roads has been resurfaced. The other half, half hasn't been. I work with the administration. In near future, you will see the other half is already on the, on the road resurfacing list. The other half will be paid. As well as next year, you will see Webster Avenue and Carlisle Avenue will get paid. It is on the DOT resurfacing list for 20, 
21. Also, I worked with my council colleague. I worked with the council colleague so that uh, our park and recreation um, uh, could be redeveloped. redeveloped. You see Buckley Park has been, um, has been redeveloped. In 2021, in our capital plan, Westside Park also will come to flourish, flourishes. I, I, um, my time is up. I'm asking the second world residents, the last four years that I represented you, that I consistently voted against these tax increases and the sewer bill increases and the, all the fees this administration wanna, um, wanna raise so, they are, uh, uh, so you, our families in the second world could have a hardship. I'm working for you. I don't have any personal benefit or anything. So hopefully on November 3rd or before November 3rd, you will mark one eye on your ballots and return it as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kalik. We have now completed our opening statement remark from our candidates present here today. So we we'll just move on to our question and answer portion. As I stated before, Mr. Mohammed Akhtaruzman is not present today. He's not feeling well. So we'll move on to our first candidate, who is Ms. Sonia and Delise, who will ask her opponents three questions. Each candidate is allowed two minutes to answer. You may begin, Ms. Delise. Hi, I have one question and it will apply to all the running candidates. According to an online article in the Patterson Times, the Patterson Municipal Council is exploring to handing over approximately 100 acres of land, 66 acres of Eastside Park, and approximately 27 acres of Westside Park to Passaic County. How would you vote on deposition of the public park land? Um, Ms. Delise, would you like to begin with any particular candidate first? No, it would apply to all the running candidates. So is it okay Frankie if can start. Mr. Filippelli yes. begins? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I am against uh, giving away our property. We did that with the Great Falls. Um, we're, to do it with, we did it with Hinchcliffe Stadium. It seems like we give things away without really trying to build what we have. We have a precious commodity here in the city, and it's just easier for the politicians in this town to give away our things because we don't want to uh, maintain them and do the proper steps to keep them up kept like every other city in this country. Um, I grew up in this city and for four decades, I've seen nothing but disaster. The, we continuously try to reinvent the wheel. So I am against turning over our parks to the county. We have beautiful parks. The gentleman that actually designed Westside Park did our park first. His name is LaFont back in the day and he did such a wonderful job. They hired him to, um, um, develop what um central park in new york city so to me to give that away is foolish there's so much rich history in the city of patterson and we have a great falls that you can't reproduce anywhere else so why do we want to keep giving away our prized possessions to surrounding towns in the, in the county because we're too lazy to maintain them the proper way we have an absolutely great dpw it needs a little bit of help. As a blue collar contractor, a laborer, I will be, I'll be behind our uh, DPW 100% because that's my field, that's what I do. You know, I understand how to make things work. I understand how to run a construction business, uh, a labor business, and all we need to do is get the right people doing the right jobs and to take care of those two parts and bring them to the next level Right now, people come all over the country to visit our falls. Westside Park is part of our falls. It's very important that we do not relinquish our ownership like we did the Great Falls. It's very important that the city of Patterson stops giving up our resources to other cities in the county. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Filippelli. We just move on to Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you, uh, Sonia. Thank you for the question. That's an excellent question. It's in the current papers now uh, being discussed um, with the mayor, the administration, and city council members. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to provide answers in things that will resonate to people as proven experience. Um, because I've been doing this for so long, I think that um, it's important to demonstrate some of the things that I've done around parks and recreation. Specifically to answer the question that uh, Ms. Delisa is asking, uh, the devil is in the details. So I recall back in, I believe it was 2017, uh, the previous mayor, along with uh, some of the city council members, had supported what I think is the most craziest bill uh, and resolution was to approve an outside Bergen County organization to hijack Pendleton Park meaning they wanted to come into the city of Patterson. It was Cedar Stars, a soccer program. They wanted to come into the city of Patterson and uh, get into a 30-year lease at Pennington Park, exclusive rights from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. And they would allow our children to use the park only before 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. Where are our children before 4 p.m.? They're in school. So I came here to this very chambers with some um, of, of my colleagues who were in the sports who utilized the fields to advocate against that. It was ludicrous. And in the contract, again, the devil's in the details. In the contract, they also wanted for Patterson taxpayers to pay for the insurance if any one of, the, one of them got hurt. That's crazy. They also wanted Patterson taxpayers to pay for policing to patrol Pennington Park for their outside teams. And on our dime, absolutely not. So the devil are in the details, despite the fact that city council members approved it, it never happened, never went through, it was stopped at the state level, and I'll continue to do that with any of the parks here in the city of Patterson. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. We're gonna move on to Mr. Kalik. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You're welcome, Thank sir. you, Sonia, for this great question. Actually, I don't have the details in front of me. There's many questions need to be asked before even come in front of the council. Who get to use those fields? Who get to use, who has the priority of using those fields if we hand over to the county? Definitely, I'm against it, because we are basically giving out 66 acres of land for no cost to the whole county to use. It should be a priority for the pa Patterson resident to use those parks and facilities for our own. And I think definitely, like Mr. Filippilli said, we need to boost, boost up our DPW, our park departments, our um, shading tree department, so that they could maintain and take care of our parks. And definitely, there's some progress has been happening. I've been fully supportive of it, like Buckley Field. And next year, I know, next year is in the capital plan already. Westside Park is being, being redone. Then why are we even talking about it? We're putting a turf field on Westside Park. And there's a lot of grants money out there that we could use to, uh, to, to do all of our parks. Also, most of them are done already, couple of parks left, west side and east side. Now we think about giving it away to the county? No, that's definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm against it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kalik. Um, Mr. Delis, do you have any other questions for your opponent? No, I'm good, thank okay. you. Okay, as Mr. Delis stated, that's our only question. We'll now move on to Mr. Frank Filippelli. Mr. Filippelli, you may ask your opponent your questions. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what, honestly, this debate, I don't really feel is fair to the city uh, second ward residents, only because what we're here doing, the city residents should be asking are th the questions. Um, I don't feel, it's, it's another slap in the face to the city residents on why the candidates are asking their opponents questions. Um, why would I want to ask a question to one of my opponents? I want to know what the, the, the city wants 
I want to know what the people want. So with that being said, I mean, I understand uh, Shaheen is running for re-election of his seat, and I understand why uh, Eddie is, is running. I don't understand why he's running now, not in May, but I'm going to ask uh, Sonia that question. I was in this race since the beginning, and it was, this is a special race, and why it's a special race, I have no idea, but why are you running and didn't take out petitions in February and in May to run, Sonia? Well, I was expecting this question from one of my <laughs> running mates. Okay, I was originally looking to run in 2022 for consummate at large. With all this ballot situation that occurred back in May, I decided to jump the wagon. It was an opportunity for me to come out, get myself known, to work with the community and for the community. Um, the community deserves better. They deserve to select the person or the candidate that they choose, not somebody else put them in the chair, regardless of the situation. You know, um, there's a lot of fraud going on. The fraud has been around forever, okay? And this is the time for the community to say, enough is enough. You know, we have the right to select who we want as a council person, and you are not gonna select it for us. So this is your chance to select to I on the ballot. Thank you. I have another question. Yes, Mr. Fitzpatrick, you may continue. Um, again, um, when I started this campaign, in any campaign, I tell my candidate opponents that I'm gonna run this campaign like a sporting event. I don't dislike anyone here and I don't have ill feelings towards anyone here, but for me to ask a question to a comp an opponent, it, it makes no sense because, uh, you know, that's something the citizens should be asking. And I feel like this is another broken system of the city of Patterson. This debate should have happened two, three weeks ago prior to uh, candidates getting vote by mails in the mail, and the citizens that wait online to pay their taxes should have a suggestion box, and they should be the ones to ask us the questions. Um, that's how most deba debates work. To me, this is like a mudslinging, trying to trap people into uh, belittling their com opponent. I can't get involved in that, but I guess I have to ask a question, and my question is, I'd like to ask Frank Filippelli a question if I can. I guess I can. Can I ask Frank Filippelli a question? You can, can, you can continue. Well, I'm going to ask Frank Filippelli. Mr. Filippelli, what makes you qualified to be the councilman of the second ward? And my answer would be, uh, I, I was born and raised here. I'm a blue collar guy. I've sat on the Youth Guidance Board since 1993, appointed by every mayor since 1993, um, except Andre, because uh, Mayor, mayor Saya, because I was appointed already. And being so, every council member since 1993 had to okay my appointmentship. So there's never been a question of who is this gentleman or what's he about. So with that being said, our city needs change. We need a guy who's not politically influenced with different types of agendas. I understand the problems that face us. We are a sleeping giant. But our city is designed to fail. The things that happen in our city shouldn't happen anywhere in this, in this country. We don't enforce laws, but yet we allow Haldon and Totowa and Clifton police officers to sit on our borders and target our residents. To me, I think that's shameful. Um, so with that being said, it's hard for me to ask a question to people that are my opponents. Next time, as a councilman, I would like to sit down and read structure the way these questions are being asked and I totally feel that the taxpayer and the citizens of the city should be the ones to ask these questions. Thank you. Thank you. So do you have any other questions? Do I have another question? I may have another question. 
Yes. And my yeah, question right is to Mr. Frank Filippelli. Mr. Filippelli, how would you go about stabilizing taxes? Listen, it's a big job. I understand it's a big city. Um, the problem with that I see for over four decades is no one's really trying to create revenue. As a small business contractor, if I'm doing a paint job and I see a siding job that I could do, I don't just paint. I have to find other ways to create revenue. The same thing with running a city. If you see problems and you, 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 we cannot continue to tax the, the citizens of our city. We need to create revenue. Now, a lot of my colleagues may say, you can't do that without five people voting. Everyone's gotta be on a clear board. No, no, you're wrong. You are so wrong. There are so many ways that are already on our books, but they're unenforced. And as a small business owner, I will push my business to the side for four years, close it down. I don't want it. I wanna put all my eggs in Patterson's basket and help provide revenue, creating revenue, simply, and I won't need anyone on this board's vote because it's already there. The only thing I would have to do is hit the streets, educate, motivate, and elevate our community. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm dedicated to do, educating the people, then motivating them on what I educated them about, and together we will elevate and we won't have to go for a, a sewer increase and a tax increase. Every year our taxes go up. Never, ever, ever do I see a council person say, hey, I got a great idea. I got a great idea. Well, guess what? Frank G. Filippelli, AKA Frankie Flip on Facebook, has great ideas. They're simple. They're things I do on a regular. And it goes from garbage and recycling to partnershiping up with uh, private entities. We are a workforce and a community. Thank you, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Filippelli. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll now move on to our ca next candidate, Mr. Eddie Gonzalez, who will ask three questions of his opponents. Hi, um, <laughs> so I do have a couple questions um, I, and I, I'm gonna piggyback off of uh, what my friend here, Frank, has said. Um, I partially agree that, you know, uh, we should be answering questions from the community. Uh, but I was knocking on doors and talking to people so I know the questions they would want to be asked. Um, I agree with Frank in, in, in the sentiment that many people, most people, if not every single person I spoke to, and I sp I've knocked on hundreds of doors, many people want change. We have council members, with all due respect, that are running for re-election or have had the seat in the past and are running for re-election. Um, and the community is not satisfied. And to answer the original question that Frank had asked uh, Sonia as to why she was running now is the time is now. With everything happening, with the vote by mail fraud that's been accused of some of our uh, friends in, in, in the political system and folks that we know, uh, President mm -hmm. Trump announcing Patterson as a corrupt city specifically the council race, that's why I'm running. I'm an, I have honesty, I'm, I have a lot of integrity in the work that I do. I have proven experience, and that's what sets me apart. I am gonna ask myself a question to piggyback off of Frank said, why not take up the time? What sets me apart from the rest of my candidates? Well, two out of the five candidates had the position of council, uh, as a council person in the second ward to represent you. You may have liked what they've done and you may continue to support them. But for a large majority of you, you want change. You want real change. You wanna unite communities. You wanna bring people together. You want to lower the crime. You want to stabilize taxes. You want to, I paid $12,000, nearly $12,000 in taxes in a single family home. I just asked myself a question. I just started asking myself a question. Okay. Um, so what I'm, was... I'm sorry, Mr. Um, Gonzalez. Well, You're allowed two minutes to answer. Okay, thank questions. you. So, so what sets me apart is that I, I don't believe any of my fellow candidates here have ever served in another governing body, like the Board of Education, where the budget there is twice as big as the city of Patterson, is half a billion dollars, nearly half a billion dollars. Um, 
I've served on another uh, agency planning board. I can't say that any of my other opponents have served on the planning board, where it's a probably one of the most important boards in the city of Patterson because that's approving redevelopment that comes into the city to address you know some of the real estate needs of the city of Patterson, some of the housing needs. Um, so having that experience in the real estate and zoning and planning, uh, I don't think any of my opponents have that as, as well. So can I ask the second question? Thank you, you can go to your second okay. question. Um, so the second question to myself is just pretty much to continue. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to highlight some of the things that I've done. I've worked with the community on many, many projects in the city of Patterson. I was um, able to, again, once again, work with community folks to build neighborhood associations around the second ward. Um, total of three neighborhood associations. Um, and we reignited and restarted uh, the Hillcrest Neighborhood Association, which Frank is also a member of. Um, working with the community is important, and I think that it's time that we represent the second ward. The second ward hasn't been represented. People from school number eight area, people from the St. Joe's Hospital area don't know who the council members were in the past eight years. They've never seen them. Their issues haven't been addressed. Garrett Heights, many of them don't know who the council members are uh, who represented them for the past eight years. Uh, they're looking for change and support. People on Dixon Avenue, people on Summit, people on Chadwick, Mary, Y Street, Getty Avenue, Main Street, people throughout the city of Patterson in the second ward is looking for representation, a direct connection, so they can answer, so the candidates can, the, the, the elected official can answer their questions, address their needs, and speak their language. I think that we need represent, rep, new representation in the second ward. I'm running, I have the proven experience. I think that I had come with a plan, not just a platform. There's things that I can do to make things work because I do that every day anyway, without a title, without a position in the city, I work for you anyway. But I can do so much more if I sat in the seat and voted on things that I understand, voted on things that matter, not dispute with other candidates or other council members as, as, as we see happening now. It's shameful, and I think that we need to begin today. So the change we need starts here, it starts now, it starts with your vote. So please come out and vote Eddie Gonzalez for I. Everyone should have received a vote by mail at home already. Um, look for Eddie Gonzalez second word. Thank you. I have a third question. Yes, I have a third question. Mr. I, I have one question for my colleague here, uh, Shaheen. Um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Khalik, uh, former council member Khalik. Um, in the community, in the Bangladeshi community, I've spoken to a lot of residents who obviously know um, that there is a problem between you and and the other candidate, Mohammed Akhtar Ruzaman, within the community. And with all due respect, um, I've always looked upon you guys to work together to address that issue. Um, the question I have for you, if elected, or even if you're not elected, and this is a question that I would have asked for, for Mohamed Akhtar um will you promise here today that you will put your differences aside, whether you win or not, to unite the Bangladeshi community, to work together, so that all communities alike in the second ward and throughout the city of Patterson can work together moving forward to move this city forward. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. Actually, I appreciate your question, the question you just asked me. Without a doubt, I've been asking the community to come sit on a table. Let's sort out the differences and let's move the city forward. I'm here to serve the people. That's about it. I have, me and you have spoken many times. I don't have any special interest, anything. If I even lose, great, there's no problem. I go home. I would not bicker about anything. I'm looking for a betterment of the of city of Paris. My voting records speaks for itself. If anything is good for the resident of Patterson, definitely I will support it. Mayor's many initiative I have supported. Look at the voting records. If it is good for residents, I'm well fine with it. If it does not benefit the resident, I'll definitely fight for it. And I'll fight for the residents. That's the only thing in my mind. I'm here to serve, serve the community. And um, 
with Bangladeshi community without a question. Tonight, I mean today, I'm asking after this election, let's come together and let's move the city forward. Let's work with each other. I don't have hate or, or bickering toward anybody, anybody. And I know my supporter doesn't either. What's going on, on you see on social media? We need to look at past and see what's the truth, what's the fact. That's all I'm asking for. What I have done in the last four years speaks for itself. You know, if I have represented well, vote for me. If not, there are other candidates. You have a choice this year. Make the right choice to do your research. That's all I'm asking for. You will see a lot of allegation, a lot of things in the paper. What's going on is look beyond the allegation. This is just the allegation. I'm going to rest it at that. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank Madam you. Madam Deputy Clerk. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khalid. Our next candidate is Mr. Shaheen Khalid, who would ask three questions to his opponents. You may begin. Well, actually, I like all of my candidates, all, all of my um, candidates here. Uh, and this is a forum, like Frankie said, the residents should ask questions. All of us presented our platform here, and residents have heard, and they will make the right choice. I, I don't need to ask any question. Everybody has spoken already, all right? And make your wise and right decision. If somebody out there going to be fight for you, fight for, fight for uh, those tax increases, those swervil increases, and those unnecessary spending, of this administration. You think any of us will help your family to raise a better family in the second world? Choose that person, vote for that person. And look at my voting record. Once again, I keep saying, look at my voting records. Once a resolution or anything come in front of me, I look at it straight. If it, if it does benefit the residents, I'm all for it. If it doesn't, I definitely, um, I voted against it, and I'll continue, once I get reelected, I'll continue, will do so, and represent the residents of Second World. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Kali. Before we move on to our closing remarks, I would just like, I have a few um, helpful hints for our voters and our residents in the Second Ward. Just to remind, Voters, those, um, anyone living in the second ward will, o will only have the second ward candidate on their ballot when they receive that. So you must live in the second ward to vote for any of the five candidates that I, um, it's Mr. Mohammed Abdurruzaman, Sonia Andalis, Frank G. Filippelli, Mr. Eddie Gonzalez, and Mr. Shaheen Khalik. Just one other helpful reminder, it's those who are not registered to vote late night or the last day to register to vote is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. The city clerk's office will be open on that day from 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you can come to the city clerk's office and complete your voter registration form. We will be open to the public 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 973-321-1310. And the last day to register to vote is October 13, 2020, which is next week, Tuesday. So we'll move on to our last segment of our forum, which is a closing remarks, and this will be done in reverse alphabetical order. So we'll begin with Mr. Shaheen Khalid. Mr. Khalid, once you once again, begin. thank you, Madam Clerk, for uh, hosting this sir. forum. I think all the forums are important, um, and specifically the one hosted by the City Council. And if somebody doesn't show up. I think it is a disrespect to this council seat. That's, and dear residents of Second World, 
I represented you for last four years. You have seen the good and the bad. Now it's time for you to make the decision again. Once again, last four years, I have voted against the tax increases, the sewer increase, any kind of fees, sewer connection fees. Even one time there was a bill for one time $3 million um, collection to, to fill the gap for the budget. I voted against that also. So, so make the wise decision. I supported the things this administration brought up to the council which benefit the residents of Paris. And I'll continue to do that once I get elected. Please, I'm humbly requesting they give me a, another four years of chance to serve you. And make sure vote one eye on your ballot. I'm the top person on the right side of that ballot. Don't forget to mark it and send it back as soon as possible. Thank you and have a good day. Once again, thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you, uh, City Council President and the Council to approve, approving to having this forum today. Once again, thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank and you. thank you who are watching. Thank you, residents of Second World. Thank you, Mr. Kali. We now move on to our next candidate, Mr. Eddie Gonzalez. You may begin. Thank you for your closing remarks. Thank you. Once again, thank you uh, to the clerk's office and her staff for, again to, for putting this together and hosting this, as well as for the next one that's coming at 3 o'clock. Um, to all of you in the second ward, I speak directly to you. Uh, this is our opportunity. November 3rd is the deadline, but you can vote today. If you have a ballot in the mail, uh, you should have already received it by today. If you have not, please call the clerk's office or the uh, superintendent of elections uh, to ask why you have not. You may not be registered. If you're not registered, you do have until October 13th to register. Um, you can reach out to us and we can have someone register you immediately. You can also do it online. Um, this is our opportunity, folks, to bring positive change, the change that we've been always looking for, the change that we need for our city. I'm here uh, pleading with you to give me an opportunity. There's a lot we can do. There's a lot that I have shown that I have the skill sets to do. Um, I, I am proud to have worked in Patterson for all my adult life, live in Patterson, never moved. I'm a taxpayer. I work with youth. I work with uh, our partnering agencies throughout the city of Patterson to make sure that we improve the lives of the most vulnerable people that live here. I've helped recreation. I helped parks, uh, improve the parks, building playgrounds and the, all the schools, well, 12 schools in, the, in, in a second ward and outside of the second ward as well um, for your children. I've served on the Board of Education advocating for your children, and, I, and you don't get paid on the Board of Education, and I serve my term with dignity and honesty. I continue to serve you. Give me an opportunity to continue to serve you in this capacity. I promise you, I promise you one thing, that you will not regret voting for me for I. Vote for me, and you'll see that the second ward specifically, as well as the city at large, will benefit. Because council members of the second ward or any ward, when they vote on something, it actually affects the whole city, not just the ward. But I guarantee you that I will be your strongest advocate, bringing more policing, working with the police departments to address our issues, quicker response time, making sure that certain areas in the second ward get addressed, because we know there's high crime in those areas, high hot spots in those areas, and I will guarantee you that I'll be the one at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, like I do already, wandering the streets, checking out our neighborhoods to make sure everyone is safe. And that's the job that I do now. That's the job that I will continue to do. And with your blessing, um, I'm looking for the opportunity to work with you. You'll have my number. I'll be a direct access. You don't need to go through anyone else to reach me. And we can work together on a monthly basis. We'll put meetings together so that the community in the various parts of the second ward will meet to address the concerns of that area. Those are promises and that I will keep because I'm already doing those things and I will continue to do it. To my Bangladeshi folks, I say, Ami Apnod Bondu, Ami Apnod, vote Chai. And I ask that you vote for me for I. Uh, I'm a uniter, not a divider. We need to stay united. We need to improve the city. If we all work together, it's the only way to move the city forward. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you, 
Thank you for this opportunity to allow me to be uh, in the race by, for those who have signed my petitions. I had nearly 400 of you sign petitions and I wanna thank each and every one of you, those who allow me to uh, speak for you. Thank you to those who I knocked on doors and shared your concerns. I, I humbly thank you for allowing me to break bread with you in some cases and talk um, over the dinner table uh, to address a lot of the family concerns that you may have in the second ward. Uh, to the areas of the second ward that I heard that were underrepresented or not represented at all, I am committed to working with you. Those on Dixon Ave, on Summit, those on Caldwell, those on Garrett Heights, those at Ch on Chadwick, Mary Street, those on Spring Street, uh, Union Avenue, Totowa, all the areas in our, in our neighborhoods that really need some serious representation, you know that I will be there. I have the proven experience because I've done a lot of this work already. I come ready to go. I'm not here to train. I'm not here to figure out how to get things done. I'm here to get to work and to get to work for you. Vote for I on the ballot for the second ward. And my name is Eddie Gonzalez. For those who don't, who don't know me, go to my Facebook page. You'll see a lot of information of everything that I said in more detail. And if you have questions, you can Facebook me, uh, message me, call me. Um, EddieGonzalez.com will take you directly to those pages. I appreciate all of you, and also I want to give a lot of credit to these individuals who are next to me because it takes a lot of courage to be here. It takes a desire to really want to uh, run for a council seat if you are passionate, and I'm sure we're all passionate about the same things, but the difference is who is going to be your choice? Who's the best choice for you? Vote for Eddie Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. We'll now move on to our next candidate, Mr. Frank G. Filippelli. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you for having us today. Um, it was said earlier, the city, the people are asking for change. Change comes from true leadership, a community leader. You just saw me demonstrate change. I changed the way this format was because it was a broken system. It was broken. We need to get people that are uh, a leadership like myself, to educate, motivate, and elevate our community. In the second ward, when I win, I'm not gonna travel around the city trying to help out other parts of the city. I love you, I respect you. I also ran in 2012, but I came up short as council at large. This is a second ward seat. I am dedicated wholeheartedly to the second ward residents. Vote me in, Hillcrest, we cannot allow total a borough to build and, and just continue to build on Cumberland Ave and up at the top of the dead ends, it's gonna cause traffic, it's gonna cause flooding. If we don't have a watchdog like myself, a true leader, to go into Totowa and tell uh, the, 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 uh, the, the politicians of Totowa, respect Patterson. You have to respect Hillcrest. When you go across the river, Westside Park, Pennington Park, some of the beautiful, most beautiful parks in the city, I'm looking to develop an unbelievable river walk along Total Ave. It looks like a garbage dump. Some of my colleagues here have stuck their signs illegally up and down the river walk. It's terrible. I want to, I'm looking to put a footbridge which was taken off of the, the the last uh, renovation to combine Pennington and Westside together. Stony Road, I hear you. Garrett Heights, taxation without representation. They hardly even use anything to do with, they, they sit at the top of the hill and their taxes have tripled since the last election. When you go down over the hill, down to South Patterson School area, that's my baby right there. That is what they list as the forgotten section of the second ward. To me, that is where I'm going to make most of my uh, the, 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 the change. I am going to change doesn't just come. It's created. And unfortunately, I have so much to say in five minutes just doesn't do it. I'm, I'm, they're really giving the taxpayer uh, a dis... A, Listen, 
That's my Facebook page. That's my cell number. Follow me on Facebook. I go live every day on Facebook, and I talk from the heart. I'm a passionate guy. I am not affiliated with a party, with, a, with the mayor. One of the mayor's candidates didn't even show up today. The other one did, but his other guy, they must have figured it out. Let's keep you out, and I'll, I'll represent the mayor today. The bottom line is we need a true community leader that's not scared to roll up his sleeves and get dirty. And listen, I'm born and raised in a city. I fight for one community. There isn't a separation of community. The politicians do that. If you grew up in the city of Patterson, never once, if, if you're a true blue Pattersonian, there's no separation of community. That's a political thing. I am a Pattersonian. I love and respect every Pattersonian in the second ward. I don't care the color, the language, doesn't matter. We're gonna do this together because we want the same thing, a good, safe place to live and raise a family. And we need a place that we could afford. What's happening now, we can't afford. We need the change. Change is created. Frank G. Filippelli, the creator. Vote for me, three I. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Filippelli. We now have closing remarks by Ms. Sonia and Delise. Ms. Delise, you may begin. Thanks again to the city clerk and the deputy city clerk for setting us up and for the uh, running mates. I'm sure it was a task to get here today. <laughs> um, the Patterson Second Ward community has had many concerns in which I am looking to address as soon as I and am elected. To begin, I will call for a comprehensive audit and do my due diligence to assure that the residents' tax dollars are being allocated appropriately. Taxes, that's one of the main concerns that the second ward is crying for. Every time I knock on doors, that's the first thing I hear. Between that and police presence, the second ward has been neglected for the last eight years. The taxes, I will vote no to taxes. I will not sit here and tell you that I'm gonna vote no to taxes and then vote with or yes to expenditures. No, it defeats the purpose. They are connected. If you don't read between the lines and you don't read the fine prints, you are voting to tax increase. I am not looking to hurt my community like that. Okay? I am part of that community. I want the community to come together, okay? The council members, it's shameful what we go through when we see these council meetings. It's embarrassing, okay? Police presence, we need better police presence. The second ward has the potential of being one of the best wards in Patterson. And like I said, it has been neglected for the last eight years, okay? The city of Patterson has ordinance and laws but they're not enforced. If we don't get the right people elected, they're not gonna get enforced. If you don't have a council member that pushes for you, it's not gonna get enforced, okay? I'm not gonna sit in my couch and wait for things to happen before I react. If you want somebody that's looking to fight for you, to hold your hand, and to bring unity among the second ward, vote Sonia Delis to I. The Patterson second ward, pays high taxes. I pay almost $11,000 for a one family home in the second ward, which is bizarre, okay? We pay high taxes, so we have high expectations. I am looking to fight for you, and at the same time, work with your flood insurances. There's many residents that pay flood insurance, and they never even seen water in their basement, not even in the corner from their house. I don't understand. It has to be reevaluated. It has to go through the members. Something has to be spoken. Something has to be done. Okay? Speed bumps. This Totowa area, I live close to Chamberlain. Chamberlain and Chatham is a speedway at night where we need either speed bumps or we need extra stop signs. They just run through there without knowing if their car, you're sleeping, you don't know if that car is going to end up in your bedroom in the middle of the night. Okay, so with that being said, you know, I am your candidate. I was born and raised in Patterson. I continue to live in Patterson all my life, okay? I come to bring unity amongst our community. Finally, I ask the community that we come together November 3rd 
and vote Sonia I, Sonia Delis, 2I on the ballot. We're gonna fight together, okay? There will be progress for all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Delis. We have come to the end of our candidates forum for the second ward, and you've heard from the candidates today who are running for office. Mr. Um, Mohammed Akhtaruzaman, who was unable to join us today, he's on the ballot. You have Sonia N. Delis, Frank G. Filippelli, Eddie Gonzalez, and Mr. Shaheen Khalik. You will vote for one of those five candidates in the second ward on November 3rd, 2020. I have um, some important information for the voters. If you haven't received your ballot in the mail, you call the county clerk's office and the number to call is 973-225-1111. The county clerk's office, which is located at 401 Grand Street, responsible for the mailing of the ballots to the candidates, I and mean to the voters. And the number is 973-225-3632. And someone at all times answer that line. So we have come to the end of our second ward forum. Please stay tuned for the third ward candidates who will be presenting their platform at 3 p.m. And thank you everyone for listening. Thanks to all the candidates who are here today and good luck. Take care, good, goodbye everyone. Thank you. Do, do I have to pay for this water? <laughs> that was a joke. Leave no. a donation. No, I, I, um, you don't have to pay for the water.